Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here, I believe this is going to be week 8 of the MPL and we are here uh, up against Reckless Bat and his Texas Night Rantrums. Now, this is going to be a super interesting matchup. I believe this should be the second to final week. We are in the final stretch and uh, we definitely got beat by him pretty good last time we played in the back of the PGBL, which was a while ago, but uh, that was back when I was missing hydro pumps left and right and put me in a pretty uh, bad position, but here we see a Zapdos. Gastrodon, Latios, Clefable, Mega Diancy, and Delmize. So, I think no matter what, my Galvantula is a decent lead, so he actually didn't have a ground type on his draft, so Volt Switch was really free here, and um, just the Monza we don't see. We don't see the Hoop Unbound, we don't see uh, Lucario, and no Roselia. So, I think. Ultimately, I'm pretty much fine to get a Scarfed Volt Switch off on turn one. I can't really imagine a situation where where he could aggressively switch in Gastrodon, but I would be surprised if he did that. I would be surprised if he did that. I'm not too, too sure. Um, we did actually have to go back in again. Uh, I do apologize for that, but uh, my audio wasn't uh recording but here we see the galvantula and here on his side we see the mega diancy so he could super aggressively switch in the gastron but i don't think he really has any type of need to because because um he would have to assume that i that he outspeeds me and i wouldn't want to get up webs in this situation because of magic bounce or anything like that so so that would nullify any kind of sash or anything like that so i think i just click vault switch here however i really do want to try to gauge some damage here so if this is a completely no bulk diancy then vault switch should be doing about 40 to 48 percent so i am very curious to see if we hit those type numbers uh, hopefully I did remember to put the scarf on this, but no, I should be fine. Um, I don't think he needs a whole lot of bulk. I think he would want a lot of speed. Yeah, in particular for my Infernape, I think. But there, yeah, that's about exactly right for a no bulk Diancy. So, this should just allow in, I feel like this just allows in my, my, uh, mill tank right here. Now, my Meltank set is super wonky. Oh, goes for a Diamond Storm. So, this is some sort of a mix set. Oh, that is really bad. That's a crit. Okay. And he gets the Defense Raise, which is pretty bad for me. That's pretty bad for me. I think the only thing that I can do... So, this is a very specially defensive Meltank. I meant to take this thing on a little bit. Uh, I could aggressively go into the Scissor here. I could super aggressively go into the Scissor here. I could also go into the Dawn Fan, but again, the Dawn... Or the, um... The Dawn Fan is physically defensive, and, and if he is some sort of a mix set, then that would be not the best for me right now. Um, my Scissor really only needs to deal with... I didn't take a... I'm gonna take a screenshot of the bottom screen right now. Um, I feel like my Scizor doesn't have to deal with a whole heck of a lot. Well, the Scizor would want to deal with the Clefable, but then at that point, HP on my Scizor doesn't really matter. So I can take a hit here. I think, yeah, the best play would be to go into the Scizor here. I'm going to go into the Scizor. And, yeah, my Miltank took so much damage. I don't think my Miltank is going to really do anything in this match. Actually, no, that's a lie, because... I can potentially attempt to do something against the Zapdos because I should theoretically outspeed the Zapdos. And here I could just bullet punch, but I think I have to click U-turn here. It could be See, if he calls this and and switch it and stays in, then that would put me in a really bad spot, but yeah, he does withdraw. Okay, that's totally fair. That's totally totally fair. Goes into the Zapdos. Goes into the Zapdos, which, um, 
I do a decent amount of damage. Again, I am banded, but actually that might allow me into my... That might allow me into my milk tank here. And I think, if nothing else, this would allow me a milk drink here, but I think more importantly, this would allow me to sub up here. I think more importantly, this would allow me to sub up. Now, I did put a little bit of speed just to not potentially speed tie against this thing. Um, but I'm curious if a no investment Zapdos would break my sub. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no offensive Zapdos does break my sub, which is unfortunate, but I guess that's to be expected. I guess that's to be expected. So, for sure, my best play would have to be to Milk Drink, unless I super duper think that this thing is going to click Toxic this turn. I think Milk Drink is going to be my better play overall. I think Milk Drink is going to be my better play overall. If I do get Toxic, then that would be super unfortunate, but I think I just have to deal with it. <sighs> yeah, I should have just clicked Sub. This was the exact interaction that I tried to prepare for. But I would have been in a worse position if I'd clicked Sub. I think... Mm, no. No. If I did click Sub and he just clicks Thunderbolt, I think I think I would have been in about the same position. But it should be okay. I should be able to get a Toxic off now, and now it doesn't even matter if he does want to bring in the Diancy here because uh, something will get toxic. Something will get toxic. And as much as I would like to, yeah, now 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 a sub is absolutely meaningless. The only reason for the sub would be to goes out into I don't know what this is. It's the Delmize. Okay, so this is actually pretty decent for me, I think. Um, although it would have been so much better if I just clicked sub. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna regret that for a bit. I'm for sure gonna regret not clicking sub. I don't think it's game breaking, but I'm gonna regret it. So what does this mean here? He, oh, he might have also expected me to, to want to click rocks as well, but I can't do anything here. I can't seismic toss, and uh, I don't have rocks. He probably wanted to spin rocks away either way. But what would this otherwise allow me to do? Honestly, it could let me go into my Infernape here. Infernape could click U-turn. Um, I feel like that checks out. And actually, he didn't bring his Roselia, so he doesn't have any Moonblast resist at all. And on paper, I should outspeed his entire team with my Scarfed Free Marina. Um, something's gonna be Scarfed. I guess the Latios is most likely to be Scarfed now. Uh, that we've seen a little bit of his team. But, goes for the Gyro Ball. Uh, yeah, we do resist, and we are banded instead of any type of uh, Scarf or anything like that. So, Gyro Ball does respectable damage, but not enough. I think I just click U-turn again. And, oh, we also saw, we actually, whoops. I believe we also saw that, um... The Zapdos was pressure and not static, so that uh, bodes well for me a little bit. That is another U-turn, which would... What does that allow in? What does that allow in? Well, let me see. If a Bandit Infernape... To a Gastrodon... Is doing 25% then that's actually most likely max defense that's most likely max defense because just max HP just max HP yeah should have done so much more so knowing that does Moonblast KO here it does not okay it's not even particularly close. Um, I could just go into... I could just go into my Dawn Fan. My Dawn Fan does have Seed Bomb. But, I think regardless, I get up rocks first and then click Seed Bomb. I don't know. He could expect me to click rocks and and super aggressively go into Diancie, but I think I just click Seed Bomb here. 
Uh, there's the seed bomb. Uh, again, this thing is full defense. And it does take it. Okay. So, now we should take a Scald. We should take whatever this is. And, he's, and he might want to switch into something here. But no matter what he wants to switch into, he's not going to want to switch into the Diancy. Have, having already shown Seed Bomb. So, this should be free rocks, I think. This should be pretty darn free rocks. Okay, stays in. So, my Dawn Fan will go down. But I think it's going to be really worth it considering... Um, the Zapdos is going to take a very decent amount of damage coming in. Um, so yeah, the fact that it was max defense did kind of nullify the, my entire uh, Seed Bomb kind of thing, trying to catch this thing off guard, but I think, I feel like that's a trade-off worth making, especially just with, um, that Zapdos in the back. That's really going to free up my Infernape, I think. And actually, Infernape, we've seen it do 25% before, but now it's going to be a roll to KO. So I don't think I can take that risk. However, Primarina can come in. And now Primarina KOs. And whatever wants to come in, I, I can outspeed it. Whatever wants to come in, I can outspeed it. And take it by surprise a little bit. Unless he brings in the Delmize. Yeah, Delmize is, would be his best bring in right now. However, last time uh, he was in with Delmize against something that I was weak to, I could bring in the the Infernape. So he has to respect that play a little bit. So um, I'm going to have to figure out what I would want to do in that situation. But for right now, he doesn't have a good enough switch into a good to a fat moon blast right now um even if his dumbize does come in his dumbize would have to be like assault vested to take two i think uh i'm curious let's see dumbize uh just a standard ass dumbize with max hp just max HP, Moonblast is a 2 KO. So, uh, and in particular, if this thing is... If Delmize is, um... Physically defensive. And the fact that he's thinking about it as much as he is... Really leads me to think that, uh... It's not an easy switch in. It's not like Assault Vested or anything. If it is Assault Vested... Then... Yeah, Moonblast might is isn't even a three hit KO. But if it just max HP or if it's just uh defensive, then it does bring this thing in. So he wants to power whip me. He could power whip me, he could toxic me. But HP on my Primarina doesn't matter, I don't think. But I also don't want to take a lot of damage in this interaction here. Does Power Whip take me out? Oh yeah, Power Whip takes me out. But that's Max Attack Adamant. What if it's not? If it's no investment... Oh yeah, Power Whip still takes me out. So, I think I have to... Oh man, I think Sap Zipper would have been a much better play. I I was too, I was more worried about the Roselia, so uh, and I thought that I could handle the Roselia, but I, so I ended up bringing Think Fan. I don't even know why I brought Think Fan. That was a mistake. I really should have brought Sap Zipper. But actually, I think I can go into Scizor here. I think I can go into Scizor here, and Scizor can click Banded Knock Off. Scizor can click Banded Knock Off. It was for the Gyro Ball. Um, Bandit Knockoff should do it, assuming it's max HP. If it's max defense... Um... If it's max defense, then I have to rely on the... On the... Poison damage, but... Regardless, knocking off something would be pretty huge. There's the knockoff. Uh, okay, okay. That was a crit. Oof. I re I super hope that didn't matter. I'm gonna check in with him after the match. I super duper hope that didn't matter. Aggressively, I really hope that didn't matter. But we're here. We're here for now. 
and I think his best play might be Zapdos here. If it is the Zapdos, then I potentially go into Mill Tank, and if I go into Mill Tank, then I think I double in that situation because he's gonna know that I want to Toxic it, and he might he might go into Diancie for that matter. Maybe Clefable. Yeah, if Clefable is Magic Guard, then he would want to go into that as well. Oh no! I yeah, he can't really he can't really play fast and loose with his Zapdos either because of the rocks. I don't think. Um. Yeah, I don't think he. I, I don't think he's in that position yet. So what I can do? Maybe the Latios as in Power Fire. Oh, you know what? You know what really sucks? Okay, so let's assume. Let's assume for the sake of argument that it's just max HP. It's not max defense. And and he. And I take it out anyway, being a Bandit Scizor. Because of the... Because of the... Because of the crit, now he doesn't know that I'm Banded, where he normally would know that I'm Banded. So that is unfortunate. That is genuinely unfortunate. Um, he could go for Heat Wave. Yeah, I think my play would have to be... This dang, uh... This dang mill tank. Goes for the Thunderbolt. Oof, that Thunderbolt does a decent amount of damage. Could that be an offensive Zapdos or just that strong? It could just be that strong. My mill tank is so especially defensive, though. That felt like a lot of damage. Yeah, no, I think Thunderbolt... It's looking here like Thunderbolt just does that much damage. Okay, that's understandable. That's understandable. But... He has a Diancie in the back. He has a Diancie in the back. He might go into Clefable here. I want to pull a double real bad. I think I will. I think I will pull a double. And I think I want to go into Scizor. Uh, okay, no. Scizor would be the best play, but it's the riskiest play. I think I go into Galvantula here. I think I go into Galvantula here. Now, I do have a little bit of speed, so I should outspeed this in most circumstances. So, he, so now we see if he wants to switch out. He does. Okay. Uh, That is the... Yeah. Okay. So... I'm scarfed, I have speed this, and I can click Thunder. Um, I think Volt Switch is going to be a roll, but I don't think that's a roll that I ever really have to mess with. Um, part of me thinks that I should... Okay, if he brings in his Clefable after this, does withdraw. Wow. Interesting, interesting. Okay, that's fair. That's a fair play. Now, I am... Modest. Now, I know that doesn't mean much because Galvantula is Galvantula, but uh, that's still a 2KO and the Paralysis. Okay. I don't think that's going to end up mattering too, too much, but uh, it does stink. It does just stink. We're going to hit Thunder, and yeah, Galvantula is tearing it up right now. That's just a straight... Oh, that's another crit. That's just a straight up modest Galvantula just kind of tearing it up right now. Um, especially after... Especially after Rocks, I don't think Zapdos could take another hit. And this thing... Yeah, he, yeah, he, he for sure knows I'm a Scarf. He for sure knows that this is a switch in right now. But he doesn't yet know that my Free Marina is Scarfed. So I think I just give up my Pre-Marina here. Well, I don't n give up my Pre-Marina. I go into Pre-Marina, take a hit, Moonblast uh, in into this thing, catching it by surprise, and then if I don't take it out, then my Galvantula can come in, and if I do take it out, then I just get taken out by whatever wants to come in, and uh, my Galvantula is in, a in a is in a position to take on the rest of this game. 
But if this thing... Okay, it's not Skarnerved. So... I... I was just gonna say, I don't think we KO, but uh, we do in fact just KO here. And... We should outspeed the rest of his team. Actually, Moonblast should take out... Moonblast could win the game from here. I might just click Moonblast three times, or, yeah, three times and win this. He has to click Roost. Uh, oof. Okay, that's totally fair, that's totally fair, but that means Galvantula is going to be able to end up winning this game for me. Um, Galvantula is going to be able to click two moves and get this win, and I believe... Uh, that's going to be at least three KOs for Galvantula. It's going to be at least three KOs for Galvantula. And that should be a win right here. Um, I really want to click Giga Drain because I know Thunder with Compound Eyes is 91%. But there's a small part of me that just doesn't even want to risk the miss. And just click Energy Ball. But... I don't know, man. Oh no, I have Giga Drain, never mind. Giga Drain. Giga Drain to a max HP Zapdos. It says minimum 10%, and he's right at 10%. So I can't mess with that. I have to click Thunder. We do land the Thunder, but uh, we do have to land one more. I think no matter what, the Scizor comes in, and the Scizor would win this match, but uh, we are. Right now, I believe one move away from winning this match, assuming that we can hit one dang move. Um, this was one of the most aggressive matches that I have played, but or one of the most aggressive builds that I built. But honestly, complete hats off to Reckless. I mean, obviously he's a reigning champ. Obviously, he's shown his skill. But uh, I just think I honestly had a strong matchup here. Um, like I said, just not having a ground type on his draft, just um, allowing my Galvantula to be scarfed and be bolt switching in and out, um, that was super helpful. And uh, again, no Moon Blast resist, I believe, as well. So those two things just really um, made this building process just uh, super interesting for me, and it would made me able to just kind of build as aggressively as possible and that's kind of just what i did but that's gonna be it for me i believe that's gonna be week eight and uh the final week will be coming up really really soon and then uh more stuff we will have the icba coming up as well as um the last few weeks of the APA Academy and the UBL coming up really really soon as well as the PGBL possibly but once again thank you guys so much for watching gonna be once again out